Welcome back, everybody. I am Blue Glass, and yes, yes, finally we're back with Horizon Zero Dawn. It's been so long since I played it, and finally, finally, we're back. And we're getting started, well, not again, but uh, at the almost exact point that we stopped last time. So, oh man, I'm really excited. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are, Watcher, over there. Yeah, I don't want to get his attention. Anyway, uh, it's been a while since we played Horizon Zero Dawn. And, oh god, there's three Watchers. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, I did play a little bit before I recorded this, started recording this video. And I just wanted to show you what's, what's new. And it's not much actually, it's just a weapon and an outfit. So starting with the weapon, actually it's two weapons, just remembered. So first one, this Karja Sharp Boot Sharp Bleh Karja Sharp Shot Sharp Sharp Shot. Oh my god, I was gonna say sharp shoot, it's sharp sharp shot. Jesus, this bow right here. Karja sharp shot bow. Say that fast five times, I wanna see. So, and the Shadow Sling, which is a very rare uh, weapon. I did have a common sling, but it was good because it, uh, it was throwing the ammo that I needed, which was freezing ammo. The Shadow Sling, as you can see right here, it has freezing shock and fire. So the fire is kind of useless. Well, not completely useless, but since I have fire arrows on my hunter bow, the, the, the fire slingshot thing kind of becomes useless. I just leave it on freeze, it's the one I use the most, because when you freeze a machine, all the other arrows you shoot make a lot more damage, so that's a lot more useful. And then the other thing is right here the banuk sickness eater heavy which is good because of the corruption uh, protection the other one i had i think i sold it i sold it yeah i think i sold sold yeah the other i had a banuk well, the, the last video was a banuk i don't know banuk sickness light something it was a corruption uh outfit as well it was the the outfit before this one anyway that's yeah the outfit um the bow and the slingshot i'm not using the rattler i didn't use it before like that much anyway but now i'm using it even less now it's just the hunter bow the sharp shot bow and the trip caster and the sling the shadow sling so as to things we gotta do, let me see. Um, go to Red Echoes. Yeah, actually, what I wanted to do as a warm up was clear this corrupt. Oh no, no, I'm not clearing the corrupted zone. It's level 20. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, that completely screwed up all of my plans. Okay, so, gotta pick a quest. I'm level 14 now, so, let's see. Uh, go to the Karja border fort at the western end of the valley. That's one skill point, 6,000 XP. Go to Red Echoes and meet up with Varl and Sona. You know what? I think we've been stalling enough this story, so... I know everyone wants the revenge of the Nora, at least in game, but I think I'm gonna do Seeker at the Gates, especially because I'm closer. And I really wanna see these Karja guys, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Chew Teeth Bandit Camp. Yeah, I'm not doing the Bandit Camp. 
and this and that. So yeah, let's do the, let me quick save here. Yeah, we're doing the Seeker at the Gates. Let's go check out uh, who are these Karja, what are they. When I was playing, I met a few guys. Oh shit, what's going on here? That's a boar? Oh yeah, it's a boar. A boar. Uh oh. Oh, that's the gate? You're in the machines? No. Good. I would hate to run into machines right now. Revenge of the Nora? I don't want Revenge of the Nora. I want a. S oh god. Whenever I see something red, I'm always kind of scared. So I never know if it's a machine coming in to kill me or what. Let's do go to the Karja border fort. Which is completely fucking destroyed. Oh god, I'm saving. Alright. You're cold? Oh god. What the hell? Soaked from melted snow. Uh oh. Are you gonna start losing health because of that? Oh shit. Ah oh, man, do I need a, a, a an outfit that protects from cold? I mean, it would be cool if that were the case, but you know, a little heads up would be nice. So it seems like these cards are like snow people or something. Let's see. Another fire camp. Another city. Um, oh, there's something there. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Oh shit. A corruptor. Shit, shit, shit! I forgot! Oh! Shit! Oh my god, I forgot about the Corruptor! Shit, 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 shit! What the fuck? doesn't see me anymore but that thing sees oh there's something behind me no okay Jesus Killed it! Killed it! Fuck yeah! Alright! 
This was a lot easier than last time. That's for sure. Let's take everything. Um, it's a little more healing. What's this? Search corruptor. No, 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 no. Got too much already. God damn it. Okay. Uh, I do want that coil, so I just have to come to inventory. And I'm searching the corruptor, and I'm taking that coil. Medicinal herb. Not herb. Herb. So those are all Karjas. Human, Karja, Archer. Okay, so those are Karjas. Um, let me do a little looting here. Truly, the sun shines upon us this Holy day. Holy shit, what's that? It wasn't the sun risking its ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you're the sun. Wait, what's this? 5% stealth. Nah, screw you. Girl, approach. Girl, approach. So, these are Karja, huh? Okay, let's see. Start so, time. Will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her. Open the gates and send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! Woo! It's automatic! Holy shit! He teleported there. The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you. For taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Oh, e so even though I have a uh, Banuk armor on me, they know I'm Nora. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. So, the City of the Sun. Cars are guard, reached level 15. There's a campfire. Which I will make use of immediately. Alright. So, I just saved here on the fire thingy. And now, we gotta go find this... He said Captain something. Captain someone. Um, so, let's see. What's this? There's a door here. This is... I think one of the ways out. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is. One who looks Another like campfire. Me. Why they want me dead. There's a fucking boar here. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. So who's this guy? Before I head out, I wonder if I should meet up with Barl and Sona near Red Echoes. Make the killers from the proving pay for what they yeah, did. Yeah, maybe you should. First, I want to talk with... Ah. That's probably the guy. Let's see. Sure as hell looks like him. Talk to Balan. There you go. Captain Balan? The guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. Questions about the Karja, um, Olin. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly, but he was on his way to Meridian. I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Uh-huh, okay. 
Uh, Karja Sundown. Karja Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Ard wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... Uh-huh. Uh, Day Tower... What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian. And Holy shit. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Alright, so back. What? Oh. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Well, Waleed, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her. Not <laughs> Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Well, now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Uh, why me? Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Uh -huh. Nothing, sir. Uh, the Witch Meridian. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. As for everywhere else, well, travel at your own risk. Yeah, okay. Um, questions about the blah, blah, Meridian? What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Jiran. Jiran was the king. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery and has Avad been is his son. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sun Ring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the fallen. Sun King Avad. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Jiran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. Okay, that's enough. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your men. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, lunkhead? You might be off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pass up these goods. Sure. W where are you, merchant? See what you got. Before I loot. Not before. Not before I loot this supply crate with Buy what you need, leave the nine system. metal shards. Wow. It's not getting any warmer out here. Alright, alright, alright. Trade with Merchant. Sha oh, look at the weapons. Shadow everything. Shadow Sling I already have, but a Shadow Hunter bow. A Shadow Trip Caster. A Shadow Sharp Shot bow. Uh, I'll... Osiram armor. Ah, oh, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Um, I don't have a crystal braiding. Banuk ice hunter. I'm probably going to need this for this cold. Cured hide and fur interwoven with machine plates. Protected the wear from frozen. Uh, typical wear for the unforgiving north, which apparently is where I am right now. Um, stitched for stealth. The self it makes for the wear harder to see in here. Azram Spark Worker. Um, oh, shock because it's spark. Smart, yeah. 
Karja. Oh, look at that. That's really awesome. Really, really awesome. I mean, uh, I, I know the last thing you want in an armor is your entire belly and stomach area showing. So it looks awesome, yeah, but that that is not an effective armor. Especially for fire. How is that armor strong against fire? Your whole, like, torso, almost all of your torso skin is exposed. The showy armor of Karja Nobles and Hunter's Lodge elites. Leather strips, cured in plants, or to protect for fire, from fire damage. I don't think so. But that's more like it. Karja silks, heavy. Manuk, sickness, this is the one I have. Asuram, Karja silks, medium. Asuram, spark worker. This is the outfit that uh, Olin, or Olin, whoever, uh, was wearing when we met him. There you go, the belly again. Jesus. Nora, silent hunter, protected, blah, blah. Banuk, ice hunter, medium. So what do I need for... This Banuk Ice Hunter. I need a Strider Heart. Uh, that's not going to happen. Um, and what about... This Banuk Ice Hunter. Shell Walker. God damn it. Okay. What about this Banuk Ice Hunter? I thought I already had this one. Don't I? Let me see. 